I'm Drea, and this is episode one of Drea's Dish Diaries. Today, we're gonna talk about stuffing. And I know that stuffing's a side dish, but to me, stuffing's the main thing I look forward to on Thanksgiving and Christmas. This is a recipe that I've tweaked over the last 10 plus years. I'm super excited to share it with you. All right, let's go. Here's a list of the ingredients and the full recipes on tasteofmytears.com. First, let's make cornbread croutons. This is something you wanna do the night before if possible. Cornbread adds a nice sweetness and depth of flavor to the stuffing and I use boxed Jiffy cornbread. Basically follow the instructions that are on the box and um, let it rest overnight. Then you can combine the cornbread croutons with a bag of plain croutons in a big bowl. Make sure it's a big bowl because that's where everything's going into. Now let's prep all of our produce, except for the apple because we're gonna chop that toward the end. Chop one cup of celery, a cup of onion, and two cups of baby bella mushrooms into quarter inch cubes. Mince a half cup of flat leaf parsley. And now that our produce is prepared, set them aside and it's time to start cooking the bacon and sausage. Cook half a pound of bacon, drain on a paper towel, crumble and add over that bread mixture in your bowl. Drain the bacon fat into a bowl Add two tablespoons of that bacon fat back into the pan. Remove the sausage from the casings and break up the sausage with your spatula as you're browning it on medium heat. Once cooked, stir in your bread mixture. Let's go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's time to cook the veggies. Add two tablespoons of that bacon fat into the pan and saute the celery, onion, and mushrooms over medium heat until tender, about five minutes. Then stir that into the bread mixture. Now let's add the rest of our ingredients. Chop one Granny Smith apple into quarter inch cubes and add to the bread mix. Add chopped parsley, a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of ground pepper, and a tablespoon of dry sage add two cups of chicken broth. What you're looking for is a spongy texture and you can add additional broth if the stuffing is looking dry. Grease a nine by 13 baking pan or nice casserole dish of your choice. Add our stuffing mixture to the pan and bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. Then if you want the top crispy, uh, keep it in there for another 10 minutes and hit broil. And after that, it's ready to be enjoyed. <laughs> oh God. And you're done. Hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I do. Let me know in the comments what you think. So it's now the next morning. We started filming around 9 p.m. last night, which means we finished the stuffing at 3 a.m. <laughs> so we didn't get to actually try it last night. So ma, so mama. So come on, let's go get the stuffing out of the fridge. Yep, that's it. That's my world famous stuffing. 